The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is continuing to wow and really impress players worldwide as they come to grips with the new system, the mechanics, graphics, gameplay, exploration. But I think that one thing that Tears of the Kingdom does so well because of the record-breaking sales, Nintendo's absolutely going to implement a lot of the philosophy behind this game into their next system and what they do going forward with their games. But before we get into any of that, please make sure you enter our brand new The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition giveaway. All you have to do to enter is subscribe, hit that like button, and check out the link in the description below. Vote on your favorite Tears of the Kingdom ability and then drop a comment there. I will pick one random winner on June 1st. Now let's go ahead and jump right back into this because I feel that The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will lead Nintendo into next gen. Now we all know that Nintendo Switch is getting long in the tooth. We're still enjoying it. A lot of us are still having fun playing. It's still a great system and its purpose of being able to play games is fantastic it still leads the market in the handheld hybrid type of space more people are playing nintendo switch than any other platform in the same category and that's great but once again there are some games that run not necessarily optimal and obviously graphics could be better here and there but i think that what nintendo is going to do with this next system is because i've been looking at a lot of different asus rog ally and steam deck and the comparisons and these systems while really cool they don't really embody what a portable or hybrid platform should actually be it seems like they're trying to stuff a lot of tech and weird type of things into a handheld form factor and it excels in some things but then it's really not good in other things and it doesn't create a cohesive experience that nintendo's been able to do with games the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom and with the nintendo switch these two are almost like paired naturally to where it all works and it gels so what's it going to take for that to translate to the next system and what's going so tears of the kingdom does some incredible things when it comes to the focus on the gameplay and i think that innovation and focus on the gameplay it doesn't just need to be from a software standpoint but you also need to implement that into a hardware standpoint so gameplay when it comes to being able to play longer with a hybrid system a lot of these portable pc devices just have terrible battery life when it comes to playing the biggest games innovation with gameplay and innovation with technology can be married together to where you say hey this can last this long to where i can be able to play these games longer so that innovation in gameplay and trying something different is absolutely going to be something that nintendo does going into the next system and making sure that their graphics making sure that their gameplay making sure that certain aspects and elements for example like hd rumble a very welcome surprise which is implemented incredibly in the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom that is the type of stuff that i feel that nintendo is going to try to implement and move going forward i think that tears of the kingdom uses so many of the cool aspects of the nintendo switch hardware it really feels like this was the game that was really built to really take advantage of the system overall now another thing that is incredibly important when it comes to tears of the kingdom is the fun and focus on the gameplay now this game has an incredible story and there's things that you can seek out to get more from the story side quests or other separate main quests but ultimately there's going to be a lot of gameplay focus and what makes that fun not just saying we have these numbers it runs at this resolution this frame rate this that this specifications this wattage this that all this nerd stuff that's awesome and obviously you want that but at the same time what at the core makes the game fun so i think that tears of the kingdom is the shining example of what makes a game fun what makes it really cool to explore an adventure and that sense of discovery they even say a discovery whenever you find a new place that is what really nintendo's trying to capture the essence for their next system that discovery that fun when you first unbox that nintendo switch that feeling that i know a lot of you guys have explained to me in the comment section and also in my live streams i see it all the time is that as soon as you unbox that thing man you're like okay this is going to be fun i'm going to be able to explore for a long amount of time good battery life i'm going to be able to get a great experience Experience, no matter where I am with less frustrations and I think that that's what Nintendo wants to implement they want to implement innovative ideas creative gameplay but focus on what makes a system fun focus on what is important to where you can maximize the gameplay and get the most 
fun out of it because once again i think a lot of times we look at these different systems and we look at this different tech and all this type of stuff and we focus too much on that and not exactly what's going to make something fun to play so i really hope that nintendo absolutely does that and i think that tears of the kingdom is showing them that they need to really focus on that now there is also a balance of all this right a balance of cost graphics dev time tears of the kingdom is a game that obviously took a lot of cost from a first party open world standpoint and even just from the system overall there really isn't any other open world first party game when it comes to all of these that has balanced it better than tears of the kingdom Clearly, the development time was really long, but for what they created, I think that it was incredible that they were able to squeeze that out of the Nintendo Switch. I think that Tears of the Kingdom is going to have them rethinking what they do for their system, rethinking, okay, we need to make sure that it can be able to handle these type of mechanics and systems in combination to where maybe it doesn't slow down as much. Maybe we can get development done a bit faster. Maybe we can balance things with the graphics and resolution more. I think that Tears of the Kingdom is definitely going to be one of the bars that they look at and say, okay, let's build off from this so we can make sure that we can put this game on this next system and there's not going to be as much problems in terms of it running or there's not going to be as many issues with it here or development could go smoother when it comes to this aspect whether it's memory bandwidth or other factors with the game so i feel that tears of the kingdom is absolutely going to be one of those test games that they really pop into the new switch when they're doing their testing pretty much as we speak right now doing their testing and saying okay it's running like this it's looking like this it's looking this good all right let's go from here let's make sure that we finalize whatever we're doing clearly they've already been doing this because tears of the kingdom has been in development probably alongside the new switch as well so so I do feel that Tears of the Kingdom was absolutely something they were looking at in terms of a benchmark or a bar or where to start from and where to go, balancing everything when it comes to battery life, cost, graphics, dev time, what they're going to do with the system. Because the last thing that you want, yes, you can have a super powerful system, you can have all of that, but then graphics are going to have to increase greatly, dev cost is going to increase greatly. You have to balance all of these things. Now, another thing that I think that Tears of the Kingdom does incredibly well that's leading nintendo into the next gen is surprising players with things they haven't seen i think that the nintendo switch was something that we had seen before in some ways or shape but not done in a hybrid form factor this effective and this good it was surprising to see how the nintendo switch busted onto the scene and really got people talking about the system and picking it up people who had not played nintendo in decades or years went back so surprising players with the experience is going to be something that's going to be crucial to the next generation system and something that legend of zelda tears of the kingdom does so many times over and over and over i think that out of all of the companies when it comes to hardware and software integration nintendo tries their best to really get that unity not making something that necessarily just a powerful box and maybe their software doesn't fit it but something that really embodies what their software does and i feel that the surprising nature of the switch was very much in line with breath of the wild despite it being a wii U game as well i think that the nature of that game was built for something like what they tried to do with the wii u and then in continuation with the nintendo switch but i think that tears of the kingdom really realized everything when it comes down to it because they were able to improve across the board especially with the implementation of the hd rumble so i'm thinking that nintendo with this next system is going to look at other surprising ways based off of what they've done recently but with a lot of their late end software splatoon 3 pokemon xenoblade chronicles legend of zelda fire emblem a lot of these games and really kind of surprise and evolve the gameplay experience with the hardware as well so i'm looking forward to seeing what nintendo does in that respect now the last thing here is something that i actually talked about quite a bit and i felt that nintendo was trying to do better not quite all the way there but trying to do better and that is the social media aspect of creation now nintendo for the first time ever included a capture feature built into the hardware so you can capture gameplay right there with your nintendo switch the last 30 seconds and you can post it on social media you can post it on twitter now they've done something like that through software with the wii u and i remember mario kart 8 deluxe you can post clips directly to youtube and there was the miiverse stuff that you can kind of do but it wasn't necessarily as seamless 
as this is right here with the Nintendo Switch. Now, obviously what they want people to do is capture that Tears of the Kingdom gameplay, all the unique and crazy things that you can do in that game, capture it and put it online. I think that the social media aspect of Tears of the Kingdom, we saw it a lot with Breath of the Wild, but now that you actually have the Ultra Hand and creation tools, that is gonna be a major factor when it comes to how Nintendo designs their games in addition to how they're designing their hardware. I think that that creation aspect with Tears of the Kingdom and the sharing is going to play a part into the next hardware and what Nintendo does next generation. They're going to want people to be able to share probably longer clips. They're going to want people to be able to share easier. They're going to want people to be able to link more different platforms to do so. And I think that Tears of the Kingdom, with its 10 million sales in the past three days and continued topping the charts on Amazon and other places as well, is going to carry over very nicely into what Nintendo wants to do with the next generation system them and having people share even more aspects of their game longer or more engaging with more time so i feel that all of these things are obviously going to be very important tears of the kingdom is an incredibly important game that i feel that nintendo is taking a lot of data from and cues to develop and make sure that the next system is on par with what they need to do and the ambition of some of their games which we have seen in recent with some of the open world games some of the titles not necessarily do as well performance wise so i think they want to show sure that up and i think that tears of the kingdom will be what they're looking at what they're testing and i feel that next generation there is going to be a tears of the kingdom on that next nintendo switch 2 i think that it's going to be like a patch that you can download or a version that just comes with it on the cartridge as well re-release so i feel that there's a lot of exciting and exhilarating content that's coming that Nintendo's going to be doing going forward, but it's going to be fun to play out and see. But for the meantime, enjoy Tears of the Kingdom. I know I am enjoying it quite a bit. I love the game so much. I'm watching all sorts of cool clips on Twitter, people posting stuff. So it's fun just to watch. It's fun to see and it's fun to play. I haven't even scratched the surface. I don't know how many hours I'm in, maybe 20, 30 hours, something like that. And I don't think I've even done that much of the main story. I think I've done like a few different quests. So I am ready to continue on with my gameplay and everything but what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to tears of the kingdom leading nintendo into the next generation with the switch 2 what else do you think that they're going to implement from a hardware software integration standpoint let me know in the comment section make sure you subscribe hit that like button hit the notification bell as well enter into our giveaway link in the description check out some more legend of zelda tears of the kingdom content on the channel thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you for the next video peace